G'day, g'day, and here we are at the beer section of the Barbecue Boys DVD. How you going? I'm here with Ali. How's it going today? Excellent, thanks for having me here. There's so many different types of beer on the market. Like every time you walk into a liquor store, you're like, you're spoilt for choice. I only just heard uh, through some of my vast research that uh, there's actually only two types of beer. Am I lying? Contrary to popular belief, there are only two types of beers, ales and lagers. Uh, the only difference being the yeast being used. Ales use a top fermenting yeast, while lagers use a bottom fermenting yeast. Uh, ales have a tendency to be more fruity and full-bodied beers, such as an IPA, a uh, stout, a bitter, where lagers have a tendency to be lighter and crisper tasting, such Correct. as a pilsner. A pilsner? Yes. I love that word. Does it really matter with beer? Like, you know, should, should, should certain beers pair up with certain types of foods? Uh, there actually are no real rules for pairing beer and food. There are, however, some good guidelines. Mm -hmm. These guidelines will help you enjoy the subtleties of each food as well as the characteristics of each beer. A good rule of thumb is that lagers can generally be paired with a dish where one would serve a white wine and ales in place of a red wine. Let's get specific. Now, what would be the best type of beer to have with a big, fat, juicy steak? Well, dark ales and rich bock beers are especially suited for red meat off the barbie. The roasted characteristics of the darker grains in these beers pair well with the slightly smoky flavor of the grilled meat. For today's steak, I've chosen the RMB Red Devil. Its multi full-bodied characteristics will match nicely with a slightly caramelized steak or roast pork. Can you try it with me? You betcha. Bring it on. There we go. Thank you. Mmm. Cheers. Thank you very much. Mmm. That is good. So, uh, the rule there is, uh, what was it, a full-bodied beer with a full-bodied... Yeah. Uh, but something as a stout, that would be much too heavy. It would mm -hmm. just leave you feeling bogged down and full. Okay then, Ali, so how about for something a little bit lighter, like uh, like your chickens, your white meats, like a uh, chicken breast, a slow-cooked whole chicken? Okay. Uh, what sort of beer would go well with that? Well, chicken is very versatile. It's generally paired with beer depending on how it's prepared. The lighter flavors associated with the chicken go well with a light, crisp lager. For today's chicken breasts, I've paired it with the R&B Bohemian Pilsner. The light body and balanced hoppiness will be a perfect match for the light flavors in the chicken. Oh, yeah. You can see how that would yeah. complement the chicken? Absolutely. Really light and crisp and... Now, if you were to do your whole roasted chicken, mm -hmm. roasted chicken would pair better with a malty beer, such as the Raven Cream Ale. Oh, here we go. The beer's dry astringency from the chocolate and roasted barley mm -hmm. would be a nice contrast to the aromatic and piney flavors of, say, a herb chicken. Now, what would be the best thing to have with pork spare ribs? Okay, uh, like chicken, pork is generally paired how it's prepared. Since you're doing spare ribs, and I heard they're lightly brushed with a tangy barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. my choice would be the R&B Hop Goblin IPA. Now, the reason for this, the intense hop bitterness will cut through the sweet spiciness. Now, this pairing would be a contrast in flavor opposed to a complement. Can you taste the intense hoppiness? Absolutely. It's like really... So that would cut right through the sweetness of the barbecue sauce. Very good. Okay, let's finally move into fish. Uh, now, during the fish segment, we cooked a lot of fish, that's for sure. <laughs> um, one of them was a fantastic snapper. What would you do with a snapper? Okay, uh, generally fish responds well to complement or contrast with regards to beer. A complement would be a nice wheat ale, filtered or unfiltered. A contrast would be a light-bodied hoppy IPA. I've chosen the RMB Sun God Wheat oh. Ale. This is a filtered wheat ale. Right. Uh, it's not available in bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's light cereal taste and very mild hoppiness will be a perfect match for a light-bodied fish such as snapper. I know I've been trying beer all afternoon here with you. I have been, I've stopped drinking beer because I heard that <laughs> it's really fattening. Um, just before we went on, you told me otherwise. Tell me about this. Um, actually beer, 
has no more calories than wine does. Even a light beer only has 16 calories less per 12 ounce serving than a regular beer. So there you go, huh? Drink as much beer as you want. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Mum, I told you. Okay, bottoms up. To get into the sun god. Now, another fish that we also cooked here was the ahi tuna steak from the fantastic tropical waters of ahi. What would be a good beer to go with ahi tuna steaks? Please, Ali! Once again, I'd pick the Raven Cream Ale. Right on. Perfect compliment for the spicy ahi tuna. The nice mild flavour from the malty stringency, once again from the grain. Mm -hmm. This would match well with the spiciness without overwhelming the dish. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So astringent. Okay, well that, uh, that seems to be all our food groups taken care of. Let's talk about spices. Ali, spicy food. Some people love to cook with uh, really hot spices. Okay, remember the alcohol in beer cuts through the hot spices and neutralizes them on your tongue, unlike water that just dilutes them and send them, sends them down your throat? Right, I, I didn't know that. So it's actually the alcohol that neutralizes the spice? Yes. Fantastic. So you can drink while you have spicy food. Spicy foods, yes. well there you go. Another thing to remember, there are no wines that match with spicy food. Spices distort the wine flavor, turning white wines hot and red wines bitter. However, beer can be a perfect match. Well, there you go, a little bit of rivalry going on, I see. Wine does absolutely nothing to refresh the palate. Wine has no caramelized or roasted flavors to match those in barbecue dishes. Even according to wine experts, there are many foods that are simply no good with wine. There's no wine that matches well with spicy food, but however, beer can be the perfect match. Best of all, a good beer is more affordable than a good bottle of wine. Wine sucks, beer is better, drink beer. Okay, well, Ali, I think that just about wraps it up. Thank you so much. Ali from R&B Brewing has brought, I'm half cut. It's, uh, it's, fair, it's a great day. So uh, I think it's time to move on. Thanks very much for the, uh, this has been the beer section. Cheers, enjoy. Mm -hmm.